All right, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the Brothers Geek Out channel. This is Fight Talk with the BMA, Basic MMA Analyst. Got my boy K West here. And we're gonna talk some fights, man. We're gonna talk some fights. Oh, we had some Bellator, we had some UFC, we had some some good fights. Uh, Yo. Before we get Yo. into that, what, what's Yo. been going on, brother? How you doing? Hey, man, I'm I'm so well. I am so well. Um. I'm you're, just, you know, I got... You're a big trip I'm, coming up soon, right? Yeah, I'm leaving on Friday, man. God so, damn. Ah, God damn, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, woo, woo, sorry, sorry. But yeah, like, damn, like, it's real. You know, I packed my case. I'm yeah. putting shit in. I'm, I'm constantly just buying stuff to put in the case. I got my GoPro that's working nicely and so on. It's all been that, man. And like, people are like, uh, you know, uh, let's, let's do a, a gathering and stuff. And I was just mm. like... Remember, I think I told you about it. Like it was, I declined to do a big thing and do a smaller thing with intimate setting. You know, mm-hmm, it's nice. Mm-hmm. So um, that's it, man. I just been just kind of making plans, shifting some things, making some networks, speaking to some people. You know, um, yeah, the plan has become even more specific. Like I said, I'm trying to find some people. I've already spoken to a Muay Thai club as well, so I'm nice. already in with that. Chiang, Chiang Mai Muay Thai, Chiang Mai uh, Muay Thai school, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that. Um, and then, like I said, I need to make 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 more connect, uh, make more connections in regard to finding therapists who deal with fighters, right? So I can learn that volunteer if need be. Um, I spoke to one one lady. She was like, "Your services would be needed because you're like more s- specific." Kind of made me feel warm. I was like, "Oh." Maybe a, hmm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, man, that's that's kind of been it, man. Let me let me give you the let me give you the ball, man. What, what's been what's been? How's the buy treating you these days? Are you hulking out? Are you are you calm as a cucumber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm cool. I'm better. I'm better. You know, what I'm saying I'm better than before. I can't yeah. say to you that I'm completely cool all the time. I don't have that zen. Sure. Hope, hope comes out. Um, I'm human. Yeah, yeah. End of the day, but uh. It's been good, bro. Listen, I've had a, I've had a great week. I mean, but, but before I get on to that, I'm excited about your trip, you know, coming up Friday. So I'm really excited for you and I'm happy that you're getting out there for what, two, is it two or three months? How long is it? Two months, man. Two months, two months. So that's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing about it. Um, and, you know, like I said, we'll figure out if we can do this. If we can't, when you're back in the UK, we'll get back on it. Um, I'm sure we'll figure out something, but regardless, I would love to, if we can get on this and we can, you can give like a weekly update on what's going on, that would be possible as well, unless you wanted to keep it private, it's all up to you as well. Um, I mean, it's all going to be out there anyway, because I'm trying to vlog this shit. Right? Yeah, so, I mean, so it'd be great if you come, if we can work out yeah. timing and you could just, um, you know, spend the first couple minutes at least talking about the week every week. Um, but yeah, we'll figure that part out. But um, yeah, yeah sure, sure. my side's been Amazing. good, man. This week I had a great week of training last week, a full, another full time week. First, for yeah. the second full time week of training after after five months, and I mean, you know, with martial arts and everything, and it went really much better week. You know, I feel already more welcomed in the gym. Everyone's cool. Nice. Um, you know, thank God, no injuries. Always bumps and bruises, but no injuries. And I just had good sessions. You know, wrestling. You know, the week before I told you, you know, I'm just not having. It wasn't great. One, I was nervous anyway because I'm not joining mm-hmm. a new gym. Two. Mm. always getting smashed by the big guys is always never good for my uh, confidence but this week I finally had training partners who were my size and yeah it's good had a good session not saying that I smashed them but it just felt better you know what I'm trying to say yeah you smashed the couple okay, of okay. I'm trying to be, hum- be humble here but I'm trying to be humble here but I I, I <laughs> you know I keep I keep you know I spoke to a couple of the guys then I was like I think I want to just do a tournament just to face someone my size and my um my skill size just to kind of give me my own comfort. I don't care about the tournament. I don't care about winning. I just want to finally just go against someone my size. And that's it really. Mm-hmm. Um because mm-hmm. when I did this week I'm in wrestling, out. in jujitsu, um anything grappling based, we I went and I went up against someone my size, I just felt great. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um and then you know the kickboxing, even the boxing actually, you know, the bo- so the first day is is boxing sparring. And I have to say I really enjoy this class is because of the teacher. You know, before we start sparring, and I've seen this in many schools, in, in many places before, the teacher stops the class and he goes, we're going to spar now. 
look after your training partner. I don't want to see no one trying to hurt each other. Fuck your egos. I don't want to see none of that. And I've heard that a lot of times. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But a lot of times in other gyms, what ends up happening, people just try to hurt each other. And that's it. The coach yeah. don't really say nothing. Yeah. So in this class right. specifically, two guys actually started trying to hurt each other. And he stopped the whole fucking class. And he's like, what the fuck did I tell you, Lord? Fuck your fucking egos. We're here to learn from each other. Right, yeah, and he got really yeah, angry. Yeah. He got really angry at the at the two, but he got angry at the whole class. And I told you, fuck your egos. Yeah. We're here to learn yeah. from each other. I don't want to see nobody hurt each other. Not in my class. If you want to do it, go do it. Go do a fight. Not in my class. Respect me. Respect mm. my class. Respect boxing. Mm. Uh, and I really appreciated that. So what happened was I was sparring, and yes, I was getting tagged. But man, because I knew that you know we're trying to learn off each other. Yes, we have to tag each other. Man, I was moving so good, and I was just practicing. You know what I mean? I was learning. I not learning, but I was practicing my my shuffle steps in out to the side to the other side. I even went up against a southpaw. Who, like I said, normally if you get togged up, you just don't have time to think and you're just fighting back. Whereas in this one, yes, I'm getting clocked, but like I said, coach has already made it clear. You're not trying to hurt each other. Man, I had the moment to think that, oh shit, I'm going against a southpaw. One of the techniques I know against a southpaw is just keep my lead leg on the outside of his lead leg and I'll be able to get enter in better. And because of the way the coach set the class and set the pace and set everyone's mentality, I was able to practice these these techniques that I, I've learned, you know, and I was able to implement. I just had a great boxing sparring class. Yes, I got tugged a little bit, but I learned. I literally came out there thinking, yeah, you've done a few shuffle steps in, out, left, right. You, yeah, you yeah, yeah. managed to understand that you're going against a southpaw and you managed to compose yourself to understand mm. just that one technique just keep your keep your feet quick mm. your foot mm. outside his lead leg uh and mm -hmm. it just made a big difference i'm really enjoying this mm. gym you know i'm really enjoying the, the classes right now and getting back into the groove and whatnot. let's say yeah. listen tomorrow's another day and we start again so let's see what happens this week but it's been great it's been great and then yesterday oh, we dampen it come on <laughs> let's see what happens listen man it's it's, it's, it's daunting like I'm, I'm not like Martial, yeah, martial arts <laughs> humble like martial arts humbles you man when we have a good week next week you go in and you get battered you're like oh fuck i feel basic again it's, it humbles me every time <laughs> um i mean that's why i like being a small guy because i'm always going to be the nail right i'm i'm really the hammer yeah. um right. and i think just being the nail all the time and like i said to you being the nail but always coming back i was like all right fuck it i'm going yeah. back being the nail again yeah. oh, i'm going back it's the hard yeah. part going yeah. back is the hard part because yeah. i'm just nervous mm -hmm. i'm like why am i gonna go there take a beating but that's the whole point life beats you up in it and it's about coming back it's crazy as it sounds but that's what life oh, beats you up right um, that's it man i think so, stallone said it isn't it Remember yeah man quote, no one right it's, no one hits as hard as life that's it it's, it's facts man it's facts but i think like i mean first off it's beautiful to hear that you're going to go and do a tournament i remember we spoke about it as a i don't know like a testing of the testing of the of the waters isn't it uh, you know and like you said it's not about the winning it's about the experience and you growing and getting better and so on so i think that's really good that you put that forward so yeah man you should yeah you'll feel good about that one when is that going to happen potentially i don't know i mean they say there's a lot of jiu jitsu okay. tournaments out here so i'm just going to just you know okay. just do it. i get ramadan's coming up in a couple of weeks so it won't be any time yes. soon it'll be after ramadan yes. but um sure. You know, I mean, look, I've been trying to do an MMA fight since, you know, since I, I moved to Hong Kong, right? The Hong Kong one, yeah. by, yeah. by a week or two went out. Then I tried to do it in Singapore and then COVID happened. You know, I think wow. I still want to do that. I think that's still what I want to yeah. do. Um, but, you know, just I'm for right. jujitsu, right. because uh, jujitsu is the one thing right now that just keeps killing my confidence. So I'm just like, let me just go do a fucking tournament. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to yeah. train for it, but I'm not going to train to be like, oh, I'm going to go there to win. I'm going to train, of course, but I'm going to be like, no, I, I just want to face someone my size and my weight mm. class. And then mm. let's see if I am if I do deserve this purple belt because that's the only reason why I'm going to, to you know, my insecurities, man, to get over my insecurities, to, to tell myself, do I really deserve this purple belt or not? That's what I'm going for, you know, um, to get over my mm. own insecurities. No, no other reasons. If I lose, I don't give a shit, but if I could give a purple belt my size, a good one for his money, then I'm like, okay, maybe I deserve this. But then if I don't, 
then, you know, it'll kill my confidence. And I'll be like, well, I know where you are now, G. I know that, you know, you got a lot of work to do. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I've always said it. My purple belt, I believe, is based on my commitment more than my skill set. I'm, I'm just being mm -hmm. honest. I've been doing it for a while and I always show up. I get injured. I get smashed. I always show up. That's what I believe my purple belt is based on. Not really the technique and you know don't get me wrong i have to move and shit i have to get some submissions and whatnot i still mm -hmm. i'm not at a position where i can man or i can control a bigger opponent 60 look i weigh about i, I weigh about 57 58 kgs up to 65 kgs i'm good it's still hard it's, i'm good but anything over it starts getting a bit hard and whatnot and i'm still not as good as setting things up yet in jujitsu certain moves i can set up but i'm not good at setting up a lot of moves yet as a purple belt um mm. my favorite submissions and my easiest submissions that i can always go to is you know the triangles uh possibly omoplatas just using my legs because they're stronger than my arms and whatnot um sure, you know sure. i'm not really good at collar chokes or any of that sort of stuff but triangles has always been my my thing um okay. but yeah no listen man i'm on I, i'm on my own journey i understand where i am and i, I really want to i want to earn the purple belt or, or my jujitsu level anyway in my head not for anyone else you know what i mean my coaches believe yeah, in me and i respect my coaches but i think i'm on a journey where it's like gee you need to go and you know for yourself go earn it and, and believe where you are in, in my journey. Beautiful, man. No, that's, um, that's amazing. That, that's, that's, um, that is really inspiring that you're going to go and do that and, and make it happen and, and sharpen yourself. So yeah, it's a very good challenge to put forward for, for sure, man. Like we all have to make some, put some challenges forward. Otherwise, like, are you really alive? You know? <laughs> kind of yeah. Way. Yeah. So, you know, so good on yeah, you, man. man. I look forward to it, man. That happens. And yeah, the definitely. progress that you go through to get yeah. to that point. Is, yeah, we need to, you know what? We we both have stories to exchange in regards to the progress of things. I want to hear how you're progressing. Definitely, you know? definitely. I'm sure everybody when, else wants to hear too. Yeah, when when it, when it, like, let's say when Ramadan's done, then I'm sure ah, the yeah. tournaments and people are going to be back on it. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm just going to, what I want to try and do is like I say, just, just, yeah, just go for it. Of course I'm going to train, but I'm going to carry on training MMA and all the other ones. I'm not just going to be like, oh, it's just jujitsu. I'm literally going to train how I train now and go do the jujitsu yeah. jiu jiu tournament. Cause I just want to see my level right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, going to train yeah, to, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to train to be yeah. like, I'm going to go win it, but I'm, I'm, but what I'm saying when I'm not going to train, I'm going to do my jujitsu classes, but I'm still doing my, MMA, Muay Thai, boxing, wrestling, all of that as well. All the training I'm doing now. So I'm going to be training hard. Just I'm not going to be like, all right, just jujitsu and then go do the tournament, try and win it. Um, So yeah, you know, let, let's, anyway, let, let Ramadan come. I'm just putting that out there because I want to do it and I feel confident that I could do it. Are you able to get some footage? Footage from... Well, you like sparring, rolling with someone, you know, like some recent footage we can, you know, yeah, I mean, you know what? Technically, I can. I could set up a camera in there. I, I just feel a bit awkward about it. You know, I've told you about my gym, right? It's the first time in my life that I've experienced um, a gym where it's just full of Instagram models and shit. Um, you oh, know, yeah. you, remember, you remember me talking about it? Because, like, yeah, yeah, on the yeah, like yeah, I said to you, yeah. on the plus side, it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a sight to be seen, right? Um, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, okay. On the, on the okay. negative side, I've never been in a gym where I'm fucking dodging cameras left, right, and center. I'm dodging oh. cameras, not getting in someone's camera. I'm dodging cam. They're camera stands. Everyone's got camera stands all over the place. And I'm oh, trying man. to move weights around, and I'm walking around what? a camera, and there's a camera stand. Right? I'm, I, it gets me so frustrated. I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I, I get it. You're an Instagram model or fitness model or whatever, but your fucking camera stand is right there. How am I supposed to... I'm, to just put a weight away, I'm walking around all these machines just to, just to accommodate your camera. And I'm like, this is... This is this guy. I don't like it. I don't like it to be honest with you. So anyway, in regards to recording for which I don't really want to put, you know, a, a camera stand out there and just watch me roll and whatnot. Um, but um, all right. Fair anyway, game, but yeah, no. Right. Listen, man. I like my new routine. I like my training routine. I love it. I I got my weekends back. You know, one other thing that I noticed, I was talking to the missus about was, I actually enjoy weekends now. I haven't enjoyed weekends for like years and i tell you why because my weekends in singapore was a saturday mma and wrestling class from 5 p.m to 7 p.m on a saturday which is the worst time ever right because it's my weekend and also they were the hardest class 
of, oh. of all of them. Remember, the wrestling class I used to tell you was the worst. It was so fucking hard. Yeah, but I always had to go true. back. I always had to do it. Exactly. And Evolve yeah. MMA, as, as much of an amazing gym that it is, I don't know why they never focused or had any MMA classes. So they only had the one MMA class on a Saturday at 5 p.m. So I was like, I have to go. I want to go. Uh, Eddie Ong was the teacher. He was one of the greatest. He's one of the best teachers I've come across. So there's a lot of knowledge that I wanted to learn from him. So, you know, I would sacrifice my Saturdays to go to that class. And then wow. and the wrestling class, like I said to you, was fucking horrible. I hated it. Uh, but I had to go because it, it always broke me, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That killed my Saturday. I never had a Saturday, right? Because I couldn't go out in the morning because I had to, you know, kind of prepare for the Saturday. So the Saturday was always full of anxiety of the training to come. And then the Sunday, the Saturday night was you're feeling busted. And the Sunday was more recovery. I'm, I'm, my body's yeah, sore. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, Sunday, I'm sitting there just chilling, doing nothing. And then Monday, I go back to training. Whereas now, since I moved to Dubai and I started training and I've settled yeah. in, Boom, all um, my hard training, I'm talking about wrestling, jiu-jitsu, boxing, everything, finishes by Thursday, all the hard stuff, all the sparring. Friday, Saturday, I do my own weight training and yoga, so there's not really a sparring, so I'm not really getting battered too much. So now, bro, my training finishes by Thursday. Friday, I kind of spend time to recover. By Saturday, my body's not as sore. And I'm enjoying yeah. my Saturdays. I'm enjoying my weekends. There's no stress of like, oh, you got wrestling at 5 p.m. You're going to go get bad. It's like, no. like, let's... So I haven't really enjoyed a week in my weekends for nearly five, four or five years, bro. It's it's crazy. I haven't even thought about it until now. Because I'm like... Freaking. Yeah, because I what the hell is that? What I, yeah, wow. what you I put a lot of pressure on yourself, man. You definitely did. Yeah, I mean, but I didn't even notice it until I've been recently like looking forward to the weekends. I'm like, oh, weekends here, yeah, this is gonna be so awesome. I'm like, why am I so happy for weekends? And I just realized wow. I'm like, because you're all your weekends for the last five years, you've been training during weekends and the worst yeah. training ever. Um, yeah. so wow, it's been, it's been how's good. your sleep as well? How's your sleep to add uh, to that? Sleep is better. The last couple of nights have been shit, so I hope I sleep better today. But yeah, it's better than before. But my sleep is way better than it was in Singapore. Put it that way. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. so that, that's the main thing. But the last couple of days has been bad. So let's see how tonight is. Um, Alan, I'm so happy to hear it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm just bro. I'm, I'm so just happy to hear it. Yes. Discovering things myself, bro. Like, could you imagine, like, not in, not realizing that I'm not enjoying a weekend. I'm not having a good weekend. Yeah. I'm training hard during it, and now you, I'm like. Why is it? I'm not just thinking to myself, why have I got this great fun sensation of weekends? Like, I'm looking forward to it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're not training, you're actually chilling. Do you know, we well, are, I want to yeah. say chilling, but you're doing what you want. You don't have to go out there training yeah. and get smashed in wrestling and get your freaking, you know, just literally get smashed. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, okay. Oh. So, bro, yeah, it, yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. listen, I would never change Good, those man. five years. I mean, listen, um, Eddie what, Ong, Eddie what, Ong, you know, at Evolve MMA he was one of the best coaches. He taught me so much right. about my own right. mental abilities and pushing forward. Those right. wrestling classes were the worst, but because of them, yeah. because of how bad they were, it helped me yeah. mentally to move forward. So um, yeah. I would never, I'm glad I did them. You know, I've never changed yeah. that, man. They were amazing classes. And, you know, like I said, it was just about showing up every week, even though I hated them. And even though it was on a Saturday at 5 p.m. where I just want to chill, I want my weekend. I'm not a professional mm -hmm. fighter. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I have a yeah, nine to yeah, five yeah, yeah. job. I have a nine to five job, right? I'm not a professional right. athlete where I'm chilling nine to five. Not not chilling, but I'm just saying like training is just my thing. No, I have a nine to five as well as my training. So I do want my <laughs> I do want my weekends to chill and do what I want. But you sure. know, um, but I, I still can't figure out why Evolve MMA just doesn't have MMA classes during the week. Whereas this gym I'm training at, man, they have an MMA. Like, I, I love it, man. I mean, again, they don't have no morning classes that I could do, but they got MMA classes almost every day. They got jujitsu classes every day, wrestling, you know, twice, three times a week. Yeah. It's 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 great. I'm loving my new routine. Pull it that way. That's that's a good thing. Oh man, that's beautiful, man. Like from the from the the, the last few weeks, you know, it's it's been a massive kind of upswing in trajectory, like your mood and everything. And it's it's really beautiful to hear that. Remember what we said weeks ago, even a month ago, you know, your your vision of Dubai was this and that and I said to you like that's fine but now you have a new vision and like it's come to it's come to fruition you know your your grass is fucking clean now right <laughs> you know <laughs> but bro I was in um, a village called Hatta me and the missus went away um, 
for for the weekend we went to a village and brother we were in the mountains brother you know like like as Khabib uh-huh. would, as as Khabib would put it uh, mountains brother I'm a mountain man um, <laughs> we were no we were literally in the mountains and it's an hour and fifteen minute drive from where I live it's still in Dubai but we're literally in the mountains and I and I loved it I'm I'm a mountain guy I love that environment and we just chilled there for the weekend done some hikes around the mountain and just kind of absorbed that and I felt great and I was like wow dude, this was a weekend away. Uh, from the bullshit of, of of the main city of Dubai and we're in the mountains and chilling. It was wicked, bro. I loved it. Man. It was a great weekend. Um, so yeah, definitely enjoying Dubai. Listen, Dubai, you know, you know, Dubai, this is how my perception of it is six months in. It's more than meets the eyes. So that's the Transformers quote, yeah? Transformers more than meets the eyes. Uh, that's what Dubai is. Because Dubai is, you know, what you see on Instagram. But really, like I said, you got beautiful spots uh nature yeah. spots like the mountains and the deserts and whatnot uh it's more than just that city dubai is more than meets the eyes man it's not it's not just that city and glam that everyone wants it has that but there's i'm not that type of guy i like the mountains i like the peace of mountains man um and it has that so i was like yeah dubai is yeah i'm feeling dubai right now so like it still has its issues everywhere does but feeling it better now. you know what right that whole segment right there is going to be the short. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, man, we're supposed to be talking about some fights. We were talking about getting emotional and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> um, well, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into the fights, you were telling yeah. me about a dream that you had, a psychedelic oh, type dream. I don't know if you feel comfortable talking about it, but. Again, it was some positive what? shit, man. Go work. Tell us, man. Tell us. Tell us what you were you were dreaming about. Tell us what you, you were dreaming about and tell us what you think it means. Okay. Um, so the dream was 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 pretty nuts. It's like I astral projected into the future version of myself. I was wearing, you know, my clothes, and it I realized, you know, like I knew right away what had happened, right? It was daylight outside, I was in my bedroom, everything looked normal. And then I, I checked my, my pockets because I was like, yo, like, what is it? What does this guy have? Yeah. <laughs> so I checked my cards and I was like, there's a new card here. And I was like, this is weird. And then I, um, you know, I, I checked my accounts and I was like, that's really weird too. And I, I started to try to figure out where certain thing, money has come from. And then I looked and I saw one say bamboo massage. And I was like, wait a minute. I haven't studied that yet. That's Thailand. What? So I was thinking, this is, a feature event. So I, I looked and saw some other money and I saw something that says YouTube. And I was like, what's going on here? So I look around the house like to see if what's going on, if everything's normal, like you know, is, is my plates where they where they were, is there's knives and forks where they're meant to be. Like what's going on? Everything was normal except for these Polaroid pictures that were next to my bedroom. And uh, there's a whole lot more to the story. I'll keep it kind of short, but the part that's relevant to this was um, one of the Polaroids was you and I, and we were celebrating, right? And it, and I immediately knew that it was Dubai. And I'm thinking, what's this? And there were these like, these uh, like like chemistry set kind of big glasses that, that had tea in it. Cause I know you don't drink alcohol. So it was like herbal tea. And we were celebrating and I was like, what the hell is this? And I touched the Polaroid and then boom, it kind of gave me a flash of us celebrating and joking around. and you know, having a good time in Dubai and driving somewhere, all these details and things that doesn't exist yet. And then like, at one point it showed me and you like signing these paperwork for YouTube, right? And, and we, and uh, because one of the flashes I saw a plaque, the, the platinum plaque of YouTube plaque, and I was like, huh? And then I put it all together and we had made like, so, you know, we, we, we did our thing. Maybe it was a million, I don't know what it was. We did our thing. And, um, and I was like, this is, this is crazy. And I, I, I flashed back out to where I was standing in my room and I was like, this is weird, you know? Um, and then the door slammed and I'm thinking, who the fuck's this <laughs> in my house, you know? Because obviously I don't know what's happened. There's been at least about an eight month gap that has, has, has happened. So I don't know what, what's happened. And, and, and uh, you know, I'm going to kind of leave the story there, but there was a photo of this girl with very specific, with, you know, Gemma Chan? Gemma Chan, Gemma Chan, I know, uh, actress. She was, she was in the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know her. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. 
Right. Yeah. This girl kind of resembled her, like big bushy hair, like at, like afro, and and I was like, who's this girl, right? And and then you know, and then the door slammed, and and I and then I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave okay. it at okay. that. that. But basically, yeah, like we, you know, that happened, and uh, I was able to get a a a, a sponsored zip car deal through our fame off YouTube. Um, and it was a blue car, and 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 I, and I remember feeling happy about this deal because I had saved money trading in my blue uh, polo um, for this for this deal. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't yeah. Know. When you when you told me this, I mean, like obviously it sounds like you know a success of what we're doing now, right? Uh, and what you're going to embark on in this journey in Thailand and what's up. I mean, if I, well, listen, man. I mean, it's a dream, but there's always some sort of reality or some sort of message from these dreams, regardless of what kind of comes to fruition or not. It's just about us saying that, yeah, well, let's just keep doing what we're doing, you know? Um, I mean, based on what you're saying, it's like, you know, and I've had these conversations with Kibla so many times on the, the Brothers Geek Hat podcast. It's like, I mean, Kibla was just on the red carpet for the world premiere of Shazam. Like, I mean, how crazy is that? Red carpet, right? I, I'm not going to mention it, but I, I sent you a message saying I, I possibly got a, um, a, a podcast with, uh, with, with a boxer who I've been trying to reach out to. You responded. And, um, yes. But when, that come, when that's kind of signed and not signed, but when that's like good to go, uh, you know, you'll see it. And I'm excited for that one. I'm also a bit nervous because I'm like, you know, it, it's, it's a step up. Someone who I follow, I follow his boxing career and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, I like this dude. I like his stage and I like who he, what he represents. And he, right. you know, so that should be coming. So just the success of um, just putting in the work, like, you know, us us talking all day today to be like, oh, yeah, what time can you do it? Yeah, I'm just going to go see a client. I should be back by this time. Your G is going to be really, and we're like, right, cool, let's communicate, let's communicate. And then we make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, we, we you're busy. You got your Sundays busy. I've got my Sundays busy. We're four hour time difference. Um, you know, we're always constantly communicating on that. How do we do this? Let's make it happen. Regardless, we make it happen. But it's just like, nobody knows the background of like the constant on the phone. Yeah, gee, I'm just going to see a client. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm just going to go grab dinner. And then, but nobody sees the, how we're trying to get this sorted. And now it's like, for my time, it's like 10.30. For your time, it's like 5.30. It's like, right, cool, let's get, let's, let's get on. It's time to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you know so yeah, yeah. there's a hustle you know behind that I was telling the missus today like we drove back from Hatar beautiful weekend uh, drove back and it was non-stop since I got back okay straight to the grocery store get the groceries blah, blah, blah. come home all right cool Kibs G can you do the podcast now all right, all right okay okay let's do the podcast now I'll eat later and then do the podcast okay I, I want to chill and watch the UFC so I'm sitting watching the UFC Friend of mine called, we haven't spoken to in a couple of years. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. I, sp I said I was going to speak to him. So I'm speaking to him, watching the UFC. <laughs> that, that, you know, not really chilled. I'm not chilled. You know what I mean? And then UFC finishes. Okay, I got to run, do some cleaning. Fucking, God, there's a dead, <laughs> there's a dead pigeon on my balcony. <laughs> there, and I'm like, how do I, how do I clean this? What do I do here? Like, it's if I pick it up and the thing starts flapping, what am I doing? Like, I'm, I'm scared of that shit. So get doing, in the headlock. Get in the headlock. I'm doing some cleaning. Then I run down, get some dinner, come back. We just watched um John Wick because John Wick Four is coming out. So like I was telling the missus, if you're gonna watch part four, you need to know who John Wick is. So we're starting John Wick One, and then you know me and you throughout the whole day are communicating. Uh, I just watched the Wu Tang um, Saga episode six, and then you're like, "Gee, I'm home. Twenty minutes. I'm like, all right, let's do it." And now I'm here doing the podcast. So what 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 I'm saying is like, yes, we're doing this, and I love your <laughs> dream of success. And we're you know we're moving forward with the podcast. We're getting a lot of recognition, but there's a hustle to the day to get this all sorted and do it. And then even after this is done, I have to, you know, download and record it during the week. You're gonna spend some time doing a short. There's a hustle behind it. Everything has to have a hustle, but we're doing it. That's that's the point. You know what I mean? And that's why the success. In, listen, success doesn't mean money. It means it, whatever we see as success is success, you know? So absolutely, come to, absolutely. Time, come to work, man. That's it, man. That's it. Like, yeah, it was it was such a surreal dream, you know? I mean, even 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 the whole Thailand, I'll, I'll, I'll give that part out because it's relevant that, you know, when I looked to my accounts and I saw Bamboo Massage, I meant like as in I had delivered that service to somebody. 
So anyway, one of the other Polaroids was me in a, check this, in a beige kind of, you know, like chill pants, you have a beige, right? I had a white vest and I had a beige kimono, yeah? And I had a certificate. I don't know what it said, but that, and then when I touched that, it gave me a whole flash of Thailand, like in a tuk-tuk driving here, seeing this person going there, getting on a plane, all of these things. And it was like, whoa, you know? And then I came out of it and I, I you know, it was, it was so strange. It was so, so strange, you know? Um, but I felt good. I felt happy. I felt like, I won't get into the rest of it, but basically what I took from it is focus. If I stay focused, all of these little plans that I have will work out. Even the one about the editing that I told you, the replaying stuff, remember that? For the gaming, mm -hmm. even that was working out, you know? It's all about focus. And that's what I took from it, bottom line. That's it, man. That is it, man. I mean, look, we, we stay focused. We do our thing. Like I said, you know, you're going to be in Thailand from next week. Uh, and we're going to figure, we'll figure out how we, we, we do this still. You know what I mean? From out there. We'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, if, if we do, if we do it solo, if you're going to, you know, find time to do it, like, we'll figure that out, shit, shit out. Like the main thing is we just don't stop and we just keep doing it. Um, and nothing's going to, nothing's gonna like make us stop like you know what i'm trying to say like you know i've said this to kibla so many times but even with us like okay on youtube i'm just you i always only look at youtube right on youtube we get like 10 percent of, of of viewership 10 percent based on our subscribers so it's about 40 50 views 30 40 50 mm -hmm. views something like that and i'm like i don't give a fuck to me that's a success let's keep let's keep going let's keep going and mm -hmm. We're talking about fights, man. We fucking geek out about fights every time they happen. We're sending each other clips. And, bro, did you see this? I'm like, we're, we're fucking having fun here. It's not just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, Kurt, did, make sure you watch that fight. And then, you know, I know you're not feeling it. Like, no, we're, we're constantly sending each other clips and news. It's like, this is this is what we enjoy. Like, it's, it's a topic in the world, whatever it is, that we enjoy and 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 geek out about, basically. Um. And that's why we do this, man. That's why we fucking do this. I mean, like, just last thing I'll say to that point is um, because I actually wrote this whole dream down, right? <laughs> it's like 10, 10, 10 A5 pages, like, notes. And one part was when, I, when I, I, I spoke about the deal that we had made of YouTube, I remember writing to myself, like, because I wrote it as if it was like a, a book, like I'm telling the audience something, but also just me writing things down. And at that point, I was just like, man... Just imagine that we were just making money talking to my boy about like one of the most beautiful, uh, advanced, exciting sports in the world, and we're making money out of it just just to talk about it. And I was just like, wow, this is this is amazing. <laughs> I literally wrote that down in, in the in the memoir. You know? so, yeah, <laughs> set man, and it is amazing. It, it is fun. I mean, this. I mean. The same. I mean, it, we're just geeking out, bro. All we're doing is geeking out about what we enjoy and press and record, and we just pull up on YouTube for people to see. That's it. I mean, it, I mean, it sounds simple. Like I said, there's a process and there's a uh, the hustle that we just spoke about. But that's the, but that's what we're doing. We're not. We're not. I don't have no. We don't write shit down. We don't have no one telling us what to say and whatnot. We literally express ourselves based on something that we we both connect on and enjoy with. So um it's freaking awesome man but talking about the fights man let's let's get into it bro i mean look we had yeah. some we we had the bellator card in, in san jose which was an epic night of fights and then we had the ufc which is also a fun night of fights i mean we we'll, we'll quick with with the, with the bellator stuff i mean benson yeah, henson who's an absolute legend retired yeah. he, he had a fight with uh uzman namagomedov who's obviously a part of that namagomedov crew um, 17 and 0 i think now yeah, I think it's Saeed, no? Saeed Namagomedov. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's Uzma. In Bellator, the, the, the lightweight champion is uh, Uzma Namagomedov. You're right. You're, yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Saeed You're right. actually right. fought on the UFC one today. Uh, the, the UFC card. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Right, man. Yes, go on, yeah. go on, go on. Uh, yeah. And then Uzman, you know, he, 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 you know, he won. Beautiful question mark kick. Then just, you know, just kind of smothered him and smothered Benton yeah. Henson, got the back and got the choke in. But I mean, yeah. you know, Usman's amazing. He's young. Yeah. You know, he's a part of that, yeah. that, that smash, smash crew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let's see. I mean, you know, they're doing that Bellator lightweight champion uh, event. And, and let's see, you know, how, how you know, how, how good he is. But, you know, the main story is, is Benson Henderson. Some of the epic fights he's had from WEC to the UFC. Yeah. Like WEC champ, yeah. right? UFC champ. He, he was yep. Bellator champ as well, right? Did he get the belt at Bellator? 
I need to check. I don't think I think he always fell short. But he, he look end of the day, he, you you got to put him down as, as a legend in MMA. Absolutely. Um, you know, he had Absolutely. the great fight with with Anthony Pettis in, in the last WAEC fight, and yeah. I know Anthony yeah. Pettis kind of came on top, uh, but it was such a great fight. He he had great fights with Frankie Edgar, who's another legend in the UFC. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Was he was always known fight. for his smoothness and the toothpick in the mouth. Uh, yeah. Joe Rogan yeah, yeah. always. Joe Rogan always comments um, about the calf kick, the new kick. You know, it's new to MMA. And he always yeah, said Benson true. Henson was one of the first people to ever do it, that he ever saw do it. Um, right. You know. oh, so, yes, he did. Oh, my, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Go yeah and even punch into the fire. I remember he was one of the first guys that I see punch, you know, he jab Nate. It was, it was Nate Diaz on the fires and on the legs and stuff like that. It was man, it was crazy, man. Yeah. So, legend, true. yeah, legend, le legend Benson Henson, Henderson, man. I mean, you know, um, you know, I guess father time catches up with you when you're going against these young monsters, man. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Very, true. very, very true. Um, he actually, uh, he didn't, he always came up short for the Bell Bellator Championship. Got it. Okay. Okay. But yeah, no, uh, you're right, man. He, 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 yeah. But yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, one of the best. One of the best. And, and I'm happy that we were able to watch him, you know, for, you know, in, in, at his best. Definitely. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. Did you see, did you see what MVP did to his opponent? Oh! MVP, like he's, Man, he's broken someone's fucking skull before. He's he just dented in someone's kneecap. What the fuck? You know, that was I tell you something, right? Normally with those leg kicks, when they're checked, yeah. if it was like yeah. the top of the just just a bit lower, the top of the shin bone, that is like yeah. the hardest part. And normally the guy who kicks breaks his leg when they hit that part. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't know if I mean of course it was precision, but I don't know if 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 it was a centimeter lower and it hit the guy's thick part of the shin, would that have been yeah. MVP with a broken leg or what? But the fact is, anyway, the, what yeah. happened was MVP kicked my guy's kneecap and his kneecap just broke in. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I haven't seen any x rays or that, but it went in. It was horrible, man. It was like disgusting. Man, that was a hard leg kick. That was the man. MVP's shins must be tough as shit because, again, hitting the kneecap, the kneecap hurts like that. When you throw the leg kick, bro, that was last week on this week on MMA, we, we were throwing um calf kicks. Mm. And yeah, my yeah. guy who I was training against, he kept on checking my calf kick, meaning he just turned his shin in. So we went shin to shin yeah. and it was fucking yeah. hurting, right? Ooh. And we were wearing shin pads and we weren't even going that hard and it was hurting. So I can imagine MVP throwing that kick with his shin, hitting that kneecap, and then blocking the other man's kneecap and not even his shin. Boy, that that was disgusting. <laughs> that 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 just makes my body cold, man. What are you drinking over there? An orange Miranda, bro. All right, I see what you is... rocking uh the greatest as well while drinking your Miranda. Show us the greatest. The greatest yes, of all there time, you go, man. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, 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 yeah. The greatest. There you go. There you go. There you go. Um. um Yes, Damn, that was nasty. It's a Sunday, nasty. so I'm drinking my sugary drink. But yes, um, <laughs> that was not, MV, MVP is always fun to watch. He's so excited to watch. He yeah. was training. I think he was doing some wrestling with DC and whatnot. Um, you know, he's... He needs that. Yeah, because I think one of his... I can't remember the guy he fought last, but the like, guy fought last took him down and was able to hold him down and whatnot. One of them. It was on yeah. the pile of us. It was, yeah, he just... Pressed him, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know he done the BKFC, and I think he wants to go back and do that again, just because he wants to get a win in it at least. Um, but yeah, no, I mean he's always fun to watch. I like MVP style, um, always exciting. So yeah, where do you always... reckon he? Go on, go on. No, no, go on. I was gonna say wh where do you reckon he ranks up in the UFC rankings? Like if he was to jump in. Easily top oh, 10, no doubt. I think he easily breaks into the top 10 and possibly top 5. I mean, what is he worth to weight, right? So, okay. you know, the UFC's got some killer worth to weights right now. You've got Leon Edwards and, and, and uh, Kamaru Usman fighting next week, which I'm freaking looking forward to. Um, oh, yeah. Colby Covington, you've got Shavkat Rachmanov, you've got Hamzat, who's possibly worth away. you got Bilal Muhammad. It, top, top 10 for sure. And, you know, the UFC... 
top five waterweights you can say are heavily, no, except Leon Edwards, are heavily wrestling based. I mean, Shavkat, you know, he's a bit of a mix, right? But the rest of them are heavily wrestling. So it could be tough for, for MVP, but he definitely breaks in the top 10, I think. Okay, all right. That's a, that's a, that's a fair, fair call, I'd say. That's a fair call. Do you reckon it's too late for him to jump over? I don't think so, but I think he's comfortable at Bellator. I don't think there's any, he's, he's got any, like, you know, of course we want to see him in the UFC, um, but it doesn't mean the Bellator fights uh, are not challenging. They're, they're not great fighters. They're amazing fighters. It's just the UFC is the main engine when it comes to MMA. And yeah, really, like, to the real proving grounds, maybe because of a promotional perspective, is the UFC. But, you know, mm-hmm. he's still, you know, the Bellator fighters, 1FC fighters, still some of the best fighters on the planet. You know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Boom. <laughs> what else? <laughs> um, shit, apart from that with Bellator, to be honest with you, I mean, those are the main two that things. That was the main two. And there were other fights. Don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to be bad, but I don't follow it as close. But, I mean, the UFC is what we, what I watched all of the main card, put it that way. Um. It was another fight on Bellator, but yeah, let's let's skip over. I'll I'll find. Let's get to UFC, man. Yeah, let me uh let me load it up. Oh, let me load it up just because. Oh, well, let's talk about the main fight anyway. The main fight was, go on, bro. Um, in the meantime, right? Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk reach a verbal agreement for undisputed heavyweight title fight. It's a big fight. That's a big fight. I mean, I know uh, Tyson Fury has been calling him a middleweight. You middleweight. Um, <laughs> because he's a small heavyweight, but man, that's that's definitely an interesting fight, and it'd be, you know, I think I think Tyson's trying to lead up hopefully to a, a Francis Ngannou fight, which will be which will be interesting. But um, oh, let's see yeah. what happens with him. But um, with him indeed, yeah. Anyway, you found it yet? I found oh, it, so man. So look, 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 let's talk about the main fight, right? Pete Young versus Moab uh, Dal. Oh Dal- I can't say his surname, but um, oh, what Chevalier. What pace, bro? What what? I mean, look, you know, Peter Young, we know what Petra Young, we know what he's he's capable of, and Murad, we we knew him, you know, hard, fast paced fighter. A uh, little bit, little bit. I on. mean, a little bit. Bro, he put the pressure on. He had a record of forty. Was it forty? Forty eight. Forty eight attempted take, takedowns. attempted takedowns, yeah. and that is crazy. And but what? But also, That's also, Petra Young did stuff. 44 of them or something. So that you've got to give him stripes for that. But 48 yeah, attempted That's takedowns was crazy. But his pace was non-stop striking, shoot for the takedown, striking to yeah. amazing, yeah. amazing, crazy pace that he put on, uh, non-stop to just put Petro Yan on his on the back foot the whole time. That was a yeah. great performance, man. He put himself on the mat in that division. Just say, Don't I'm up here, motherfuckers. Like I'm ready to go. <laughs> like, he's made it very wow. clear that he's not fighting uh, Al Jermaine because that's his boy. Right? They're brothers, yeah. right? So I respect yeah. him for that. But, you know, yeah. look, Al Jermaine's going to fight Cihiro, Henry Cihiro, right? They got that yeah. confirmed. So if yes. if Cihiro wins, then you, Marab can get in there. But then you got, you got um, what do you call it? Uh, Sean O'Malley, right? He's, he's, sitting on the, he's sitting on the side right now. You got um, Chito Vera fight, fight in San Hagen, which is definitely, I think, should be a number one title contendership fight. Whoever wins that, I think, should get the title fight next, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and you got Usman, no, uh, is it Usman? Usman's brother, um, who's the other Nomegomedov? Um, is it Usman? No, or? No, Umar, no, Umar, no, Umar, no, no, um, Umar, yeah, Umar, yeah, yeah. You got him who's up and coming, right? So you can kind of throw him up in there uh, with those He's guys. Serious, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, man. Picks. Another fun, exciting, exciting division, man. It's a, it's a very I mean, exciting division. Back to that fight, though. Like, um, you know, leading up to that fight, I don't know if you caught this, but um, Marish really, uh, 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 Marab went up to um, Petra and wanted to uh, he w- try to get him to go on to the schmo, right, to do some promo stuff. And Jan wasn't really interested. And then he was like, Kind of like a bit dismissive of Marab saying like you know that he just uh, he's like a dog he like just grabs the the leg and then pushes into the fence right and uh, and he was saying about his like you know kind of like putting him down that he's not really that big and that's why he needs to do all this promotion stuff whatever 
So to see him go and get smashed like that was <laughs> was pretty good, <laughs> you know. I mean, pretty good to see that. P- Petri Yang's built built you know career up to this point where you just kind of thought he's gonna win because of how talented and amazing he is. And yes, he starts a bit slow, but once he gathers all that data, he's he's a sniper. Right, but I don't think Murad just gave him the pace, or he put on such a pace he didn't give him the space to allow him to gather the data and 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 apply the ta- data. You know, just too much information, too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the constant down and forth, down and forth, back and forth. It was just, it was just amazing. Yeah. There was there was a part where um where Murad threw like a because he kept shooting for takedowns. I think he threw a right, right? Oh no, he threw a jab. Thing he shelled up and then he threw right, right, and then Petrian put his put his left out to, to to block it. But because he's he's so used to that, he went down for a takedown immediately and he wasn't able to put his hip, hips back at that same moment. So he just kind of like hypnotized him in a sense, you know, like he got him so used to everything being like, you know, overloading him with information, like we said, he didn't know what to do. And I'd never seen him like that before. That was incredible. Like if 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 and when he gets to the next the next harder difficult um opponents they're gonna be in trouble man if he's on that <laughs> yeah, man he, he man he, i mean we i i knew of him and i knew the pace that he put on but he put I on didn't know he was a championship like that yeah he put on a championship pace this this fight yes, man so absolutely he, colby carpenter style huh? yeah he definitely made it exciting he made that top you know five of, of of the of that of that division um was it the bantamweight division exciting of the bantamweight division he's yes. Kobe Covington so yeah. good so yeah. good for sure it's <laughs> that cardio in it that Kobe Covington covered the cardio that, yeah it was That's so it, good I mean it's the rise of the wrestlers again yeah again. man yeah I mean what do you do with that division so like I said you got you got Sterling versus versus Sahudo happening right so that's for the title fight now sure. yeah you got Chito Vera versus Sanhagen I think yeah. I seriously think the winner of that fight should get the title shot that's my opinion Makes sense. yeah Makes sense. and then you got Sugar so I think why don't you put Sugar against either Moab um Uma, get him another fight. I think get him another fight before he fights one of those guys. Or maybe even Uma versus Petrian now. Pe- uh, Pe- uh, Petrian. So, you know, that br- that brings Uma up, if he, uh, you know, and Petrian just kind of coming over the loft, but going up against still, you know, a high up-and-comer. So, yeah, Sean O'Malley, I think she'll fight Moab. And then Chito versus, yeah, Sanhagen, winner gets a title shot. And then if Cejudo wins... Well, yeah, I'm saying if Aljamain wins. If Aljamain wins, yeah, someone, yeah, one of the guys fight him. If Suhudo wins, then Aljamain get a rematch? No, maybe not. Maybe he fights... Maybe he fights the loser of Sanhagen versus Cheeto, and the winner of that fight will get the title shot, and he fights the loser of yeah. that, whoever wins. I don't know. There's so nice. much... So much That's really... That was good. That was that was really solid. Hey, Sean Shelby, listen to this, man. This guy's fucking the truth. There's so much to do in that division. It's fucking fun. Not picked up. Damn, that was smooth. That was so smooth. I think it's it's a very exciting division at the moment. Super dense, so many possibilities. I, I mean, you know what? There is space, right? There is space for somebody. You know, th- th- these are the top guys, right? There's Umar is not even in the top uh, ten, is he? He's quite breaking, far down. I think he's breaking in now, actually. Right. There is space for him or somebody else in there to to you know. Say a little, a little slick words here and there to kind of jump in and, and, and tease some of these top guys. I think there's room for that. I think there's room for that. You know, mm. someone call somebody out, say something a little bit spicy, and uh, you know, get an opportunity to jump in and 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 mix things up real good. I think there's room. Definitely, I'm trying to pull the um, the um, the division. I'm trying to look for okay. the um the fighters and the division. It didn't give me the give me the rankings. I want to see the um athletes. Hold on, that's what I want to see. All athletes. Is that right? Oh yeah. nice. No, fucking A to Z of athletes. I don't want to see all of that. Anyway, um <laughs> what are you trying to find? That I was trying that to find the top yeah. ten in the, the top ten of the, the, the uh, division. Maybe it's rankings. Okay, do that. Uh, so I'll do that. Oh, we go. And, and you- I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So you got you got Sean O'Malley as number one. You got Sterling as a champion. Sean O'Malley is number one. You got Petri Yang as two, but he's that's never gonna change. Maraba three. I think those two are gonna oh. change. 
Mal und Vera, Corey Sanders in das Five, Rob right. von als Six, Dominic Cruz. So Umar, actually Umar is number 11. So he should fight someone within the top 10, uh, top, between top 10 and 5. So you got you got Rob Font, yeah. Dominic Cruz, Sung Yadong, Pedro Munoz, and... Dominic Cruz! Yeah, yeah, he's number... Yeah, oh, yeah. Ricky yeah. Simone. So I got I say Umar, if Umar fights someone there, so he's got a bit of space to kind of grow anyway. He's got space. Yeah. He's got space. Call someone out. Call someone out, man. Call someone out. I think he's been trying to call out um freaking what's his name? Sean O'Malley and one of them guys. You know, Umar's trying to get straight to the top. I mean shit. <laughs> Why I think, not? <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, man, I'm thinking like that kind of pace, man. I think Marab, man, Marab, if 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 Al Jermain weren't there, I feel like the one who's to look out for especially after that performance is Marab, man. Like, you better, whoever you are in that division, you better be ready for a pace, you know, a non-stop pace. And that's, you know, Marab's going to put that on you. There's going to be no taking your time and, you know, pace in the fight. No, this guy's coming at you all five, 25 minutes. Straight forward. I, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Like, even, like, I didn't expect that from him. I, I didn't know he was, because they call him the machine. I had no idea that's what he was about. I'm I'm like really impressed by what he's done. Like I I I have full respect for him now because I just thought ah, he's a guy in the back, you know. But I remember someone way back. I don't know. I think it was Chris Weidman or maybe um, Stephen Stephen uh, Stephen Thompson. One of those guys said that Marab is the guy. Like he, remember, he came from wherever he came from. Came in, didn't speak much English, and he just worked. And they were like, he's the guy to look out for. Remember that? Yeah, I think I mean Chris Wyden makes sense because he's from that Ray Longo school and and and, and Matt Serra, so it's just yeah. all for maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, one of yeah. them guys. Though. I remember mm. him against Aldo, and I just remember the pace that he put on against Aldo. It wasn't the exact same pace as he did here, but it was like, oh, this guy, this guy's a, a machine, and he, he he lives up to that name. He lives up to that name, the machine, because it's nonstop work. Um, Absolutely. I was just watching the fight, the edge of my seat, thinking, "Holy shit!" Like he, he's literally giving Petrion no oh, space yeah. to think or apply anything that he normally would yeah. do. So that's it. Crazy, down amazing pace. pace. Like even in the fifth round, he didn't even have time to have data. Like it was just not computed. That was even crazy. in the last 10 seconds of the fifth round, I think he took a shot, didn't get it, still threw some punches and kicks. He's going nonstop all the way to the end. I, I love. I love his steez, man. Just, just non-stop pressure, man. I mean, it just, it does remind me of that Khabib thing because Khabib had no. When Khabib fought um, uh, Edson Barbosa, I'll never forget that pressure that he put on him. <laughs> but, I mean, Barbosa was throwing spinning kicks and whatnot, and Khabib will block it and just run forward towards him. It's <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, let me breathe, like, and that's what he was yeah, doing. He just yeah. doesn't let you breathe, I'm... and that, that's some scary pressure, man. That's. That's a lot to go through. That's a lot to go. I, I don't know who is going to put him in his place, but uh, I think the whole world now is calling for him to fight Al Jermaine at some point. And if he doesn't, you know, I don't know. Like it, I don't know how that's going to work. It's a DC Kane thing, isn't it? Yeah, but he won't fight. He, he made it very clear, and they made it very clear. It's my boy. I'm not fighting. And they, I think Dana White in the interview said that he, you know he doesn't. You know he wants him to fight him, isn't it? But you know, I think Dana White's had this conversation before. I think I think George Saint Pierre made this comment back in the days, like, I'm not fighting my friends. Like, you promoters will make me, will, will, don't care if I have to fight my friend, but no, that's my friend. You have no idea what it is about maybe putting, you know, really punching and elbowing a, a friend in the face. No, I'm not doing that. So I think, I think you know, it's, it's a different story, man. They train together, man. I'm like, no, I'm not going to fight him. Um, That's my boy. Yeah, so, of course, Dana would want it. That'd be fun for Dana and, and the UFC, but As as human beings, Moab and, and Sterling are like, that's my fucking brother, man. This guy, because of Sterling, I'm as good as I am. And Sterling saying the same thing. Why am I going to now turn my back on him just for a championship belt? Nah, there's other ways around. And that's honor. I think that's honor in martial arts. That's honorable. Yeah, for sure. But there was advocate who would win. Holy shit, man. That's a good one. Um... The way Marab put on that pressure, man, I would go with him. But if Sterling gets your back, you're, that's a problem. So I don't that's know, man. Those two would DJ scramble Khabib. the shit out of rest. Like they would have some great wrestling yeah. scrambles, I reckon. Oh, they must be their training ground. I, I can imagine them two scrambling the hell out of a wrestler, like over, you know, spar. 
two Tasmanian devils just <laughs> I think Al Jermaine with the BJJ would probably be a problem. I think that I, that would be it. I, I reckon I reckon like, you know, Marab could probably take him down, but Al Jermaine might be able to control him from a BJJ perspective on the ground. Sort of yeah. Thing. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would go that way, definitely. But um we're never gonna see them. We'll never see that. They will never fight. Unless something a fallout happens, then they'll fight. But I don't, I don't, at this, at this moment, you don't see that happening. And I hope they don't because I love the relationship they have. And it's great to see that honor, that honor in, in, in men and in martial arts, um, you know, mm, without, sure. you know. So, man, so it's happened been... before. It's happened before, right? Look at John Jones and um, Rashad. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happened before. It's happened before. Never say never, man. Never say never. A mm-hmm. um, couple other fights on there, man. I mean, Alexander Volkov. Alexis Francis. Sorry. What's that? What's that? I said Alexis Francis. Remember that? Who's that? Who? Remember, remember what Dana said? Remind no? me. Remind me. Remind me. Basically, Dana, Dana, uh, some, some reporter said to Dana, is Francis going to come back? And Dana says, I never normally say never, but with Francis, it's never. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're just <laughs> on bad terms. Very bad terms, you know what I mean? They don't, they, you know, yeah, just didn't work out. And let's hope not. You never know, man. Let's, let's hope not. Because if it makes money, it'll make sense to them. And they're money making machines. So. <laughs> Listen, for sure, for if sure. Francis, for some crazy reason, somehow knocks out Deontay Wilder <laughs> if they have a fight, and John Jones beats Stipe, they're fucking making that fight. <laughs> they're gonna make that fight. They're gonna they're gonna sum up. <laughs> um, that's the super yeah. fight right there that the world wants to see. The baddest, the true baddest man on the planet. Because I'm talking when I say true, I'm talking about it's gonna be an MMA. And the MMA heavyweight champion of the world is the baddest man on the planet. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sorry, Why I'm just not? saying. Um I'm, I'm, Okay, let's let's move on, bro. Heavyweight fight. Yeah. Talk about heavyweights. Alexander Volkov versus Volkov. Alexander Romanov. Romanov. I mean, Damn, Vol- son. Vol- Alexander just what? Well, Alexander Volkov just walked through him and showed him that this is a different level, my friend. Um, <laughs> very different level, and he just walked through him, took his back, and just pounded him out. That was it. Simple. So simple. That was it. Simple. Resisted the takedown. Pushed his head way into the dirt and. Uh, that was it. That was it. Finished him. Quick and easy and smooth. I mean, yeah, Volkov. That, he's he didn't even he didn't even go full full pace. <laughs> you know, he, he just literally dominated that fight. I think that I think literally there was a different level. I mean, Mo Mo, Mo yeah. what's his name? Yeah. Um, Romanov was Romanov. his number fourteen, and what's uh Volkan? What's Alexander? Was he he's top ten at least? No, he's top ten for sure. Yeah, he's top ten for sure. Uh, but he just showed that hey, there's a different level here. So hold your horses. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where is it? What do I say? I don't see where he's at. But anyway, I never forget when DC said that to a Volk- to um, what's his name again? Damn, no time. Uh, remember that guy. I know that guy. No time. He t- the DC's the one who said that, right? There's levels to this game. There's levels. He was the original. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Something, something. No time. Uh, you know the guy. Something. No time. Yeah. It will come back. Anyway, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, I'll no, I mean, that was the heavyweight bout. And then next was, uh, why have I lost the card? Hold on. Alexander Uzdemir. No? Yeah, was it him? Yeah, another Alexander? I think. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I didn't check. I just kind of guessed, but it sounds right. Uzdemir sounds about right. It sounds something like that, yeah. Oh, sorry, Volkan Uzdemir. Volkan Uzdemir, okay. Okay, no time. Yeah, yeah, no time, no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy how he got the title shot, man. I mean, because I remember he beat, um, who's the British dude, man? The British light heavyweight who everyone was pumped about. Mm, uh, come on, why have I gone blank, man? Darren Till? No, 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 light heavyweight. He, everyone was light. pumped about him. UK guy, um, he would... I've gone so blank right now. Black dude. Um. Oh wait. Uh. Come on. Jimmy Manoa. Manuel, that's it. That's Woo! it. I remember him knocking out Manuel, and I think he got the title shot Jimmy after Manuel. that. The DC just destroyed Mister No Time. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And DC game was the game. first one to say, yeah, there's levels to this. Level to this game, yeah. <laughs> Um, that's 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 that Dragon Ball. Like this is my final form type shit, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, man, cool. Moving on to a catchweight yeah. bout with uh Nik- Nikita Krylov versus oh, Ryan man. Span. I mean, did you see the pace that these guys put no. on? I mean, like, Ryan Span. Did I you missed, see that fight? I missed that one. You know. Again, these one. fights tonight was just a crazy yeah. pace. These guys went and just lo- non-stop scrambling. And striking in the first round, and uh, Nikita managed to catch a triangle. But I reckon um, Ryan Span tapped because they were so like they put on such a heavy pace. When that triangle yeah. got caught, it just kind of like you. I'm sure he was breathing heavy, and it just kind of just caught him, and he got caught in the triangle, and it just took out his breath basically, man. Because they put on a fast pace. I saw the clip. I saw the clip of him finishing it. it was yeah, it was kind of like a. Half triangle or something like it was modified. I mean, it no? was it was locked. It was locked. But I think what it was, it was at the end of the round. And like I said, they just put on a pace for that first round. That's such mm-hmm. a heavy pace. Where I feel like mm-hmm. as soon as you get anything, any submission that that can stop your breathing, you're instantly like, "Fuck, I'm fucked. I'm fucked." Your Damn. diaphragm is out here spasming. Man, and shit. <laughs> it, it it was crazy, man. But that was a great. I mean, look, like I said, the pace in these in these fights were great. Um, you mentioned Saeed so many times today. So he fought today. Uh, I saw his fight. The... <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Woo! Versus Jonathan Martinez. Now, bro, like these Namega medals and whatnot, it must be intimidating fighting this. But Jonathan didn't seem phased, boy. He he went on it. They Again, they went back and forth and he, he won by um, decision. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it, people have been contesting and debating, but I think it's, I think it's right. I right. thought it was right too. I mean, I, I've been, I look, I, I'm not going to say that I analyzed the fight proper. I did, you know, I did think, okay, is this going to be a smash session? But no, I mean, yeah. Jonathan was scrambling a lot. He, 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 you know, got positions and whatnot. Um, so it, I think it, he gassed out, didn't he? Uh, Saeed gassed out towards him. You could see his yeah, movement yeah. was bringing labor. And, and mm-hmm. Jonathan was still going for it. I think he, he had a bit more in the tank towards the end, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely, mm. definitely. I mean, I thought he won, but that was a great fight. And then yeah, another great it. performance by, I mean, I'm not, I'm not familiar with these, with this guy, to be honest, but Mario Batista um, right. versus Guido Canete? Canetti? Sounds good. Guido Canetti. Guido. 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 Guido, okay. Super Italian name. Super Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, he's from Argentina. Nope. Yeah. Hmm? It's, it's ah, like yeah, Argentina. Yeah, yeah. Did you but did you watch that fight, bro? The, again, another pace where Mario man just put on a pace, grabbed his back, and finished it. Man, it was it was, yeah, it was just a fast pace, just just quick finish submission. Man, absolutely amazing. Like I'm like I gotta watch out for this dude, man. Uh, Mario Batista actually just was really great performance. That was that was um that was a okay I think oh yeah yeah I'm I'm just reminding myself but yeah the suplex yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was dumb that was dumb that was that almost reminded me of come on what suplex come on we're, 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 yeah Demetrius man oh okay well into the well no but Demetrius one was like a special move or suplex into armbar this 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 was a bit this yeah this was like more like a normal suplex and then took it back and then. Got the choke. Just the chain. Just the fact yeah. that he chained him. He okay, got, the, yeah. got the slam. He got it in. Like, just the fact that it was so seamless. You mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. But damn, yeah. Nah, he, he, that was, that was fucking slick, man. Just, mm, and then, mm, perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, man, that was nice. Like, that's like, that's how chain wrestling should look. No? Yeah, like King from Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> That's frustrating. That is so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, when someone grabs you, like, well, listen, man, this is this is what I'm saying. That this wrestling pace, and I think you know, yeah. even though wrestling's been in the UFC from day one, I just think we're seeing different levels, man. And this 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 cardio and conditioning and all this sort of stuff, like, you know, the, the, just the chaining together, the nonstop shooting, um, you know, a failed shoot or failed takedown attempt leads to another different kind of takedown, just nonstop. Man. I mean. It's it's awesome. I'm I'm a fan of wrestling, and and really now learning wrestling. I'm le- you know, 
I learned wrestling in, in Evolve, don't get me wrong. I learned the hard pressure of wrestling, but I'm learning more now, training here at TK Fit MMA. And uh, yep. I'm really shout enjoying out, shout really, out. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> enjoying this the, the sport of wrestling. Um, just a different pace and just again, you just scrambling, right? Because you don't you, the way they do it here is like if both shoulders touch the floor, it's a pin, you lose. So you're constantly scrambling. That's why they're so fast paced. You can't let them pin you. Whereas in jiu-jitsu, you just kind of, all right, all right, you got me down. All right, cool. I'm going to hold you and let's see if I can work a submission. But with wrestling, it's like, no, 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 I'm not getting pinned. So you're fucking moving and they're moving and scrambling. It's crazy. <laughs> Wriggly worms. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. Um, yeah, those are the... your shoulder, by the way? You know... Uh, it's pull this way it's better i mean i can't say it's 100 percent, but i'm still working it um i still do listen i'm at the gym constantly doing these rotational exercises and rhomboid races and all this sort of stuff so you know um i'm, I'm always working it i'm always trying to you know make it better but you know thank god through all the training i've been doing the last say three weeks the martial art wise it hasn't made it worse the impingement's gone that's a good thing but i feel that like, i feel a little sign sign here and there but the impingement's gone. So you know what? It's it's better and it's getting better. And I'm gonna carry on um doing you know my mobility and flexibility exercises almost every day, at least a couple of times a week to just non-stop, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As as uh uh a master therapist in my own right, I highly recommend you get some therapy done at least once a month. At least once a month. When you say no. therapy, are you talking about like a massage therapy or something, or what are you yeah. talking about specifically? Yeah, massage therapy. Yeah, yeah, massage. Get some. Get a sport. Get get a sports massage at least once a month. Let them, you know, untangle those things. Yeah. You know. You know what? I, I need to. Pleasant. I need to find one. I need to. Find, I need to Google search mm -hmm. a sports yeah. therapist yeah. and a hot and cold mm -hmm. sauna in Dubai that I can exactly. go and use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because like you know, obviously we're getting older now. Like we need to like maintenance needs to be top. You know. Well, this, is, it just ain't run. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I was saying to you about my new routine, what I like, because I get all the hard beat down training done by say latest Thursday. So I have Friday, mm. Saturday, Sunday to literally rest and sleep mm. and recover from 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 um, you know uh, bruises and, and all that sort of stuff. But yes, I don't I don't get massages. Um, I don't do the hot and cold since Singapore anyway. So um, I do need to get back on that. I do need to find a good sports. Uh, yeah, yeah no, awesome. I think I should. Yeah, I definitely should. I need to find someone. Now I'm settled here. I think I'll find someone, a sports yeah. massage yeah. therapist yeah. out here to do that. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's good. You know, now that you're settled, you know, they will do you a lot of good to have that just there to just keep things maintained. And then you can, you know, don't worry, like, not have to worry about your body's maintenance. You can just enjoy the fight or the mm -hmm. training. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Done. Cool, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, any other MMA news that we missed? Anything? Um, trying to think, did we miss anything else out? Anything big happened this week? Um, that's worth mentioning before we call it a day. Not really, man. I think I think we got most of it. Obviously, like Be Benson Henderson, Henderson retired. We got that. Oh well, yeah, yeah. we we didn't actually say that he retired. We just said he was a legend, but he retired. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I, mean, I think I mentioned that he retired. Yeah, yeah, that was the main okay. thing from okay. Bellator. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, That's look, it. next I mean, week we got a big yeah. card. You will be in Thailand, so let's let's talk. No pressures for oh. you to do it. So we can we can figure out talking together, or we'll, I'll do one myself. What's up? What's up? Uh, Coco potentially signing um in Ghana, potentially. He said it's about 50 per 50 50. He said, mm. right? Okay, but then okay. If, we, if they get him right, then he can do his boxing, and then that'll be very easy because they're very fluent with that yeah, situation. Yeah. So, um, it would make sense for all parties involved, but so far, Coco says it's 50 50. I mean, look, I'm sure he's talking to 1FC, PFL, all of them lot. So, you know, and they're all going to immediately say, all right, we'll give you the bot. You, you do what you want and whatnot. So, you know, <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be fun. But, um, yeah. I hope like, he does and kind of stick to Dana, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, so Ke Kev sorry, last thing. Kevin Lee calls for a rematch with Tony Ferguson. Because mm, 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 he's back in the UFC. I mean, might be a good place now because Tony's in a position where, you know, 
he, he's taken a lot Manning of now? beatings. Yeah, a little bit. So I mean, I think that'll be a good. I'll be a good rematch for for Kevin Lee right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really want to see Tony fight anymore, to be honest. But, mm. but it make, that would make sense. But yeah, yeah, I don't want to see it. We'll see. I mean, I, I mean, it'd be a good fight for Kevin Lee. I think coming back into the UFC, I think that'll be a good one for him. But. Tony's fighting. I don't think we're going to see Tony leaving anytime soon, but you're right. He's taken a few losses and it's not nice mm. to see, um, but I feel like he's not going down like that. He's going to try and, you know, come back. But let's see. Let's see how that goes. Mm, I believe so. Um, Islam Makachev uninterested in the rematch with Charles. He needs new challenges. Yeah, that makes sense. The the, the new the Ryush, I think, is, is the one. I mean, I know he's fighting Charles, but that's the one. If he wins that especially, he should definitely get yeah. that title shot. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Um, I think that's it for me, man. Cool, man. Well, well no, nah, that's it for my side, man. Um, yeah, all right, coming then. up to about 11.30, <laughs> I need to hit the bed. That's what's Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, man, well, listen, man, listen, let's let's communicate next week. We've got a big card coming up. Um, Usman Thanks. versus Leon 3 in the UK. You got you got freaking um you got Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fazeev, another fun fight. You're gonna be in Thailand. I, I'm sure you'll definitely watch the fight. Let's communicate, let's see if we can make this happen from over there. If not, you know, I'll give my own thoughts on on the on the next week anyway. But um on that note. Everyone, thank you for watching, as usual. Appreciate the likes, subscribes, and all that sort of stuff, and the support, and all the good stuff. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Fight Talk, man. We're just going to be talking fights, and, and K West's journey in Thailand, and, and you know, just our journey, man. Just our journey in lives. Yes, and, um, speakers, mysterious boxes from your side. Hey, hopefully, inshallah, as, as we say, inshallah. As here. Let, let's 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 make that happen. We'll make that happen. But um, yeah, man. Until then, all right, my people, we're out. Peace. Oops. Oops. All right, hold on. Let me stop this.